Okay, good morning children. Now, we'll be moving towards to the new chapter that is challenges to Indian democracy, which I'd already explained you some of the paragraph which I've already explained you in the Zoom class. That was the role of the syndicate and the factionalism in the Congress. As I've told you that towards the end of the life of Nehru, KK Kamaraj, he became the president of the All India Congress Committee. After the death of Nehru, it was, it was Mr. Kamaraj who had played a very, very important role to bring Lal Bahadur Shastri to power. That was in the year 1964. Lal Bahadur Shastri, he was a part of a group of leaders in the Congress, which was known as the syndicate. Try to understand, don't get confused out here, okay? So, he was a, Lal Bahadur Shastri was a part of a group of leaders in the Congress, and they were being, they were being called as the syndicate. Thereafter, when uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri died, uh, it, it was the sudden death of Lal Bahadur Shastri in Soviet Russia, the syndicate favored Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter, Mrs. Indira Gandhi against the veteran politician leader named as Moraza Desai. At a great initiative taken by Kamraz, finally Indira Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India in the year 1967. Try to understand. Okay? Here, Kamraz is playing a kingmaker role. Try to understand. Okay? At a great initiative of Kamraz, finally Mrs. Indira Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India in 1967. Now, when, Prime Minister, when Indira Gandhi became Prime Minister, the first and the serious challenges the Congress had to face in the year 1967 was that the another political party named as Samyukta Vidak, Vidayak Dal. Samyukta Vidayak Dal got the control over many states, especially in the Hindi belt of India. Here, Indira Gandhi was being challenged by the majority of the party leadership. After that challenge, the Congress Split into two, Indira Gandhi started a new party known as Congress R in the bracket R. And the another official Congress party which was been laid by Kamras, it was been known as Congress in the bracket O. Now, actually, let us see what was the main reasons okay, in the split of the Congress between the syndicate or old gods. Okay, syndicate or old gods and Mrs. Indira Gandhi in the other hand side. Indira Gandhi, see, when the conflict started arising between the two groups within the Congress, Indira Gandhi quickly took control over the finance, defa finance department from Morazi Desai. That means it is very much clear during the uh, government of Indira Gandhi, Morazi Desai was the finance minister. Okay, so the finance portfolio from Morazi Desai was been quickly taken by Indira Gandhi, and very soon, very immediately, she passed one act which we call as an ordinance. Ordinance, it's an official order, you know very well. She passed that order for bank nationalization. Okay. Thereafter, another great conflict came in Congress, within Congress was that during that time, during that era, the president of India was Zakir Hussain in the year 1969, try to understand. Jakir Hussain was the president, but after he died, okay, the uh, post of president remained vacant. So another new, new uh, person has to be elected for the post of president. So, Congress chose Sanjeeva Reddy as the president of Congress, sorry, for the uh, presidency of India, okay. The syndicate group of Congress chose Sanjeeva Reddy as the Congress candidate, whereas the other, in, in the other hand side during that time, Mr. Vivigiri, try to understand, Mr. Vivigiri, he was the vice president of India, he also filed his nomination, but without the support of any political party, he filed the nomination independently. So it's very much clear here, uh, Sanjeeva Reddy, candidate of Congress for the presidency. In the other hand side, Vivigiri, independent candidate for the uh, post of presidency. Here what happened, Indira Gandhi played a vital role out here now. Indira Gandhi openly supported Vivigiri, who was an independent candidate. Is it clear? Against Sanjeeva Reddy. So the election took place of the president and finally the result came out. The result was surprising that Vivigiri came to the power. Vivigiri got the victory. When Vivigiri got the victory, Congress served a show cause notice to 
Indira Gandhi for her indiscipline action. Try to understand. Obviously, this happened. Because Indira Gandhi also belonged to the Congress party, you know very well. So she was going against the Congress party. She was going against her own party. She supported the independent, party, independent candidate, that is Vivigiri. Independent candidate won the election. So immediately, Congress served a SOCOS notice for the indiscipline action of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. But remember out here, Mrs. Indira Gandhi did not reply to that. Once you have been uh, given and served and SOCOS notice or an explanation has been asked, it is your duty to reply to it. But here Indira Gandhi did not reply, so the Congress again split into two, that was in the year 1969. Indira Gandhi's group was known as Indian National Congress R. But later on, try to understand, that later on Indian National Congress R was being changed to Indian National Congress I, I for Indira Gandhi, try to understand. Okay, this was how the Congress split into two. Is it clear? But remember here what happened again, the maximum number of MPs were in the favor of Indira Gandhi. That is the reason why Indira Gandhi remained in the control of the government. Maximum number of MPs, members of parliament, were in the favor of Indira Gandhi. So that is the reason why Mrs. Indira Gandhi remained in the control of the government. As you know very well, this split, okay, this split of Congress into two was somehow seen in as a left wing and the right wing conflict. Mrs. Indira Gandhi followed a very popular agenda. Why? Why? See, see every time, okay, every time you see, okay, even today, today's time, okay, obviously the politicians, okay, the political leader, they always go and find a popular demand so that they might get the support of the people. So similarly, Indira Gandhi also every time wanted a certain type of agenda, a very famous agenda, a popular agenda, so that she can gather more and more support, so that she can remain in the power. That is the reason why she raised the slogan which is known as Garibi Hatao, remove poverty. See, that is one of the most important, this is another most important concept of the political party. Okay, Garibi Hatao, remove poverty. Okay, not only that, she also wanted to have a very good relation, have a very close tie up with Soviet Russia. That was the, that was the theory, that was the concept of Indira Gandhi. Is it clear? Whereas in the other hand side, in the other hand side, the old guards of Indian National Congress O, we call it. Indian National Congress O, Indian National Congress I, you know very well. Indian National Congress I, especially, uh, it's, of, it's a party belonging to Indira Gandhi. Okay, and Indian National Congress O, that is the old guards or the syndicate. The, which has been led by KK Kamaraj. Okay, so in the other hand side, the old guards of Indian National Congress O, oh, they stood for more conservative agenda. That means whenever, whenever you want to pass a resolution, it has to be discussed at a meeting. First discuss at a meeting, then pass that resolution and then take up that agenda. That was the concept of the old guards or the syndicate, we call it. And obviously in the other hand side, they never trusted Soviet Russia. They never wanted the help from Soviet Russia. See the difference. See the difference. Indira Gandhi, okay, wanted to gather more and more, uh, wanted to follow up a popular agenda to gather the support and she wanted to have a good relation or a close tie-up with Soviet Russia. Whereas the another group of Congress that is syndicate or we call as a old guard or the Indian National Congress, oh, they stood up for more conservative ideas, okay, conservative agenda. So whenever, whenever you want to take up an agenda, you first sit, have a discussion, have a talk, have a meeting, then only you take up that agenda. That was the concept of the old guards or the syndicate and the another most important uh, differences was that the old guards or the syndicate or a Congress National O, oh, they never wanted the support of Soviet Russia. The Indian National Congress O, oh, try to understand, the Indian National Congress O, oh, later on, they merged with a larger Bharatiya Lokdal and other political parties, then they formed which is known as the Janata Party, try to understand. This, okay, finally, finally, the Indian National Congress O, oh, combined with Bharatiya Lokdal and other political parties and they formed one united opposition party which they named as Janata Party. This Janata Party was to stand against Indira Gandhi's rule. Try to understand. Okay. Indian National Congress O oh, 
combined with Bharatiya Lok Dal, with other political parties, they formed one strong united opposition party named as Janata Party, who will be standing against the rule of Indira Gandhi. Okay, let us move to the emergence of political parties, the main leaders. One most important feature of the election of 1967 was coming together of the opposition party. See, most important feature, most important feature of the election of 1967 was that most of the opposition party, they were united together now. They formed an organization which we call as anti-Congress fronts in some of the states. In most of the states, they formed a political party who will be working completely against Congress. In other cases, they even entered in the series of electoral adjustment. Electoral adjustment means the election will be held. Okay, uh, one political party will specially share the seats with another or they avoid contesting just to destroy Congress in the Gandhi's rule. That was only their concept. That was only their concept, try to understand, okay? Even they came into a series of electoral adjustments. In some states, one political party supported other political party just to defeat Indira Gandhi's party. So finally, the Jan Sangha emerged as the main opposition party in Uttar Pradesh. See, try to understand which was the most important political party which stood as the main opposition party, especially against Congress. The Jan Sangha political party was the main opposition party in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Haryana. Swatantra party in Odisha, Rajasthan, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh and Gujarat. SS that is a political party that is in Bihar and the communist party that was in West Bengal and Kerala. These were the emergence of political parties. Okay, their main aim, their main views, their main ideas is completely to go against the policy of Congress introduced by Indira Gandhi. Now let us move to the importance of the elections of 1967. In 1967, India held general election to the fourth Lok Sabha. See. 1967 general election held in India that was fourth Lok Sabha election okay Triton. in 1967 the general election in India was been held to the fourth Lok Sabha the national Con Indian National Congress remained in power by winning a clear majority of seats by the party now held 70 seats less than in 1960 to try to understand out here now though though in 1967 Congress came into the majority the Indian National Congress they, that this political party remained in power they got a clear majority of seats but but certain damage had been made to Indian National Congress in the year 1967. Here it has been said that they held 70 less seats than 1962. So 70 seats they got less comparing to the election of 1962. In the meantime, the Congress party faced internal division. See, in the meantime, so what, ha what happened? Internal division was being faced by Congress. Within the Congress party, okay, certain uh, misunderstandings, certain uh, conflicts started rising within the Congress party. The popular leaders, Jawaharlal Nehru and Lal Bahadur Shastri had died, see. Try to understand. The most famous leaders of the Congress during this time, Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri, they had already passed away. Indira Gandhi, the daughter of late Jawaharlal Nehru, had succeeded Lal Bahadur Shastri as the leader, you know very well, which I had already explained to you. Okay. Indira Gandhi, who was the daughter of Jawaharlal Nehru, succeeded Lal Bahadur Shastri. When Lal Bahadur Shastri died, Indira Gandhi came into the power, you know very well. Very soon, a rift emerged between her and the Deputy Prime Minister Murarza Desai, who had been her rival in 1966 party leadership contest. See, try to understand. Very soon, a split, a serious uh, split started coming between Indira Gandhi and the then Deputy Prime Minister Morazi Desai. Prime Minister was Indira Gandhi, Deputy Prime Minister was Morazi Desai. Now, a conflict started rising between Indira Gandhi and Morazi Desai in the year 1966 just for the party leadership contest. Indira Gandhi also wanted to be the leader of the party. Uh, Murazi Desai also wanted to be the leader of the party. Because of this, a conflict started rising between Indira Gandhi and Murazi Desai in the year 1966. 
One of the another most important feature of 1967 election was the coming together of the opposition parties, which I'm repeatedly I'm telling you. The most important feature of the election of 1967 was that the coming together of the opposition party. Most of the opposition party they had come together, they have emerged together, they had combined together, and they have formed a very very united opposition party. Some of them formed anti-Congress fronts in some states, which I've told you. In some of the states, anti-Congress group was been formed. In other, I told you they entered to a series of electoral adjustments by sharing seats and avoiding contests. Though they had difference of opinion, their only desire was to defeat Congress. See, these different political parties, the different opposition party, their ideas, their views, their opinion was different. Try to understand. Okay, their ideas were viewed, their opinion were viewed, everything was viewed, but they had a common desire. Okay, all this opposition party, whichever opposition party was there in the different states of India, okay, their ideas, their views, their opinions were been different, but they had a common desire. The common desire was to defeat Congress. Only one aim they had, the common aim. Okay, only one thing was similar of this all opposition party, their aim, their opinion, their desire, their desire was same, that was to defeat Congress. Anyhow, by hook or by crook, we have to defeat Congress. That was another important feature. Another most important feature of 1967 was the dramatic defeat of Congress. Try to understand. In 1967 election when I told you Congress got a majority, Congress remained in the power by winning a clear majority, but here Congress had lost 70 less seats than in 1962. That was a dramatic defeat. Slowly and slowly now Congress has been defeating. Though Congress succeeded in retaining control of the Lok Sabha, which I have told you, though Congress retained the control of the Lok Sabha, but its majority drastically reduced. Congress got 70 less seats, try to understand, 70 less seats. Though they came into power, <coughs> excuse me, though they controlled the power of the, of the Lok Sabha, but the, they had the seats, they had really reduced drastically. Congress also lost its majority in the assemblies of eight seats. Yeah, see, yeah. Even in the, not only the Lok Sabha, but even in the assembly seats, even in the state assembly seats, Congress lost eight seats, comparing to the election of 1962. These were, let's see, which were the states, which were the states the Congress lost? Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab, West Bengal, Odisha, Madras, and Kerala. See, these were the eight seats. Okay, they lost their majority, majority in these eight states. Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab, West Bengal, Orisha, Madras, and Kerala. Johnson emerged as the main opposition party in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Haryana. Swatantra party in Orisha, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, and Gujarat. SSP in Bihar, and the Communist Party in West Bengal and Kerala. This was the political party who stood the main opposition in the different states against the Congress. Result of the election of 1967. The Congress party lost the confidence of the people you know very well because though they were in majority, I told you, though they retained the control of the Lok Sabha, but they had drastically reduced the sets. That means they started losing the confidence of people now. The Congress party started losing the confidence of the people. This, this party suffered a serious setback, see. It was a great blow. It was a great blow to Congress party. Though it succeeded in retaining the power, the decline support of Congress was seen when the party lost control of six state governments in the election. See, though they remained in the power, but their support of Congress for the Congress were been declining slowly and slowly, which I've told you, they lost control in the eight state governments in the election. You know very well, the electoral losers of the party led Mrs. Indira Gandhi becoming assertive and opting for a series of choices. Then when there was a uh, loss of the party in the election, Mr. Indira Gandhi has to, has to go for a series of choices. She had to go for a series of choices. This put her against the rest of the party establishment. Because of this, now responsibility completely was in the, in the uh, responsibility was completely there with Indira Gandhi for losing the seats in the election of 1967. The internal strife continued to worsen. See, the internal conflict, the internal disagreement between the Congress, this wasn't the atmosphere 
okay this completely made the situation more worse finally she was expelled from the party in november 1969 say finally indira gandhi indira gandhi was been taken out from the party in november 1969 this action led to split the party into two factions this this was the reason why the congress were completely divided into two groups the congress o led by morarji desai congress r led by indira gandhi now she continued to head a minority government with the support from the cpi until she called an early election in 1970 71 so finally indira gandhi remained in the power though as a minority government indira gandhi was been supported by cpi cpi full form of cpi is communist party of india okay she was there in the power though it was a minority government she was been supported by cpi until and unless she had to call an early election in 1971 so finally she had to declare the election now the next election would be held in the year 1971 okay my dear children today i'll be ending up my classes out here so 3.1 chapter challenges to indian democracy i'd ended up in our next class we will be moving towards to next paragraphs of uh, chapter number 3.2 okay thank you very much